In this instruction video, I will show you how to perform the imaging co-registration between different image contrast using the MR radar mix platform. After you successfully import all the DICOM images for a specific subject right here, you can now click the multi-modality LI button. A new uh, figure will pop out showing all the series for the selected uh, study number. So now, uh, you need to assign the reference imaging. Typically, we will use the post-contrast T1 weighted imaging as the reference imaging. So you can simply select the actual T1 weighted imaging with contrast agent, and then click the Add button under the reference image list. Then you will assign this specific sequence as the uh, reference imaging. And then you can select a multiple series as the source images. For example, I selected the T2 weighted imaging, T2 flare imaging, and also the diffusion weighted imaging. Now again, I click the add button under the uh, source imaging list. So we'd like to perform the image co-registration using the post-contrast T1 weighted imaging as the reference. We'd like to transform all the source imagings to the uh, reference imaging. So now you can click the different imaging. You can see right here, the lower panel right here displaying the source imaging. It's easy to see that these two imaging is not well co-registered. So before we perform the uh, imaging co-registration, we can uh, reassign the spatial resolution right here. So as you can see right here, the in-plane resolution um, displayed by the X and Y or the row and the column right here is 0.7a and 0.7a. These values are automatically extracted based on the reference imaging information. So now the slice thickness is around 6.5 mm. The metric size is now uh, 256 by 256. Now you can reassign the value. Uh, in our publication, we use the default value right here, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, and the three millimeter slice thickness as a default value. The metric size is assigned to be a 300. So once you uh, set up the uh, spatial resolution, you'd like to perform the imagery interpolation. And now you have already assigned the reference and the source imaging. You are ready to use the, these two buttons, either the co-registration on the current source imaging, or use this co-registration on the, all the selected source images. And before you click the button, uh, there's one more thing you can know. For example, when you are facing the dual echo imaging, as I mentioned before, Sometimes the prone density weighted imaging and T2 weighted imaging can be acquired within a single sequence. In this dual echo sequence, you may need to uh, assign specific file you'd like to uh, select. Uh, normally, PD prone density imaging would be the first file, and the T2 weighted imaging would be the second file. But in this case, you will see this is not the dual echo image, so only one volume, only one volume can be chosen. Another issue is related to the diffusion weighted imaging. You can now see this is the rho DWI diffusion weighted imaging right here. But sometimes we may want to uh, use the ADC apparent apparent diffusion coefficient map as the image contrast. If you want to do so. You can simply select the diffusion weighted imaging and now check, uh, click the, the checkbox right here, calculate ADC map. Because in some situations, diffusion weighted images with different B values such as the B0, B1000 may be uh, assigned into different sequence. So now a new selection window uh, is pop out to let you select the all the diffusion weighted uh, sequence included in this specific subject. For this case, only one diffusion weighted imaging uh, series was uploaded. So we only need to select this single one. Click OK. 
So now, based on the uh, spatial resolution you assigned, the program will uh, perform the image interpolation to fit, fit for this assigned spatial resolution. And now you need to uh, manually assign which image is the B0 image. So click this pop-up menu, you can go through all the imaging from follow 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And typically the B0 imaging would uh, just look like the T2 weighted imaging. So we select uh, the number 2 as the B0 image. Sometimes you may have multiple B0 images right here, then you can type a multiple value right here to assign all these three columns to be the B0 image. But in this case, select the column number 2 would be fine. And you can assign the B value, and also you can uh, uh, specify a threshold to perform the brand masking. So you can use the button right here to check whether the value outside outside the brand right here is 81 and inside the brand is around 800 so we may be confident to select the 200 as the threshold to differentiate the brand area and the, the background uh, pixels so now everything is ready just click the calculate ADC so the calculation would be very uh, Quick, you can see right here it already saved as the division weighted NII. This is uh, actually the nifty format right here. If you go back to the uh, subject folder right here, you will see there is a generated uh, division weighted NII nifty file right here. If you have the uh, nifty viewer, you can simply open it, then you will see the calculated ADC map right here. Then let's come back to the program. Now everything is ready, so you can click the, the code registration O button to perform the image code registration as well as the image uh, interpolation to adjust the spatial resolution. So now we need to wait. The program will go through uh, all the sequence. Each sequence may take um, several seconds to several minutes. So be patient, just wait uh, until all the processes are done. Now the second one is done, and now it's come to the final one, the uh, flare image. Once all processes are done, you will see the message window right here. It takes uh, almost 70 seconds to finish all the three image code registration. So now you can uh, review the result by switching the display mode from raw imaging to the co-registered imaging right here. So as you can see, now the upper one is the reference imaging and the lower one is the uh, T2 flare imaging. It looks like the co-registration uh, performed pretty well. You can switch, now it's T2 weighted imaging, it's ADC map right here. So by quickly review the uh, slides uh, using the mouse wheel, just scroll it up and down, then you can switch, uh, you can view different slices right here. In some cases, you may suffer bad uh, image code registration. In this moment, you may perform uh, some manual adjustment right here. So you can simply um, uh, input the number you'd like to adjust. The unit is in pixel, not in millimeter. Please be aware. So if you want to manually um, adjust the imaging, you just need to input some number right here. I may put a large number right here, like five pixels. You can, you may see the imaging will shift the five pixels along the Z axis. So you can see right here. If you want to uh, redound this, just put a minus five number right here and please make sure you finally will put a zero right here so no more manual adjustment will be performed so as you can see right here once all the processes are done you can now uh, double check your files in the subject folders you will see 
uh, each sequence will have its transformed uh, nifty file right here, including the original images and the images co-registered to the reference uh, actual T1 image right here. So make sure all source images uh, have the relevant file with the prefix of REG representing the co-registered image for each sequence. So now the image co-registration and uh, image interpolation or resampling to adjust the spatial resolution are all done right here. Next step, we will introduce the uh, multi-modality RI in the next instruction video.